Welcome to another episode of Entering the Unknown. We're at the Victoria Theatre in Salford, Greater Manchester. The Victoria Theatre is a theatre in the Lower Broughton area of Salford, Greater Manchester, England. It is situated on Great Close Street, on the corner of Elton Street. The theatre officially opened on the 10th of December 1900 and was last in use as a bingo hall in 2008. The original capacity was 2,000 seated, this was increased to 3,000 in 1910. Designed by Bertie Crew, and was built by the Broughton Theatres Syndicate Limited, the theatre became a Grade II listed building on 18 January 1980. During its time as a bingo hall in the 1980s the building was severely damaged when its third floor was removed and replaced with a less ornate brick wall. Sadly the building that was a theatre, and a cinema, and later a bingo hall, has gone from this, to this, from the glory days of the theatres, to a building, left in ruin and decaying. It's now a place for pigeons to reside, and it was also a place being used as a cannabis farm in the basement. Tonight's team for this investigation are Lead Investigator, David Harazny Psychic Medium, Andrew Warrington Jones Camera Operator and Investigator, Sean Helm Former Team Member, Rachel Barlow No, it's not, was it? Yeah, it's about here, yeah. it's about here, yeah. To Belland. <coughs> is that way? I think it's no, no, up here. It's this way, mate. There's one floor up, kind of thing, I think. It's deceptive. There's a main door there. It's deceptive, like the other one. There we are. Yeah. 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 You can't walk on the stairs because they've got stuff on them. Just do the black egg. Feels busy for me. All there. All there. It's like the foot floor. I'm, I'm getting lots coming in this way. This is one way it's walking. I'm getting more here than I am. I'm not sure. Do you put something down in there? The main door down there. It's lovely, isn't it? Can you see this? That was it. I said in the 80s, I said pajamas like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, John. Yeah. 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 Well, what's making that noise? It is on the stuff. Does anybody here? Uh, can you come forward and speak to us, please? Or make you, a noise? Well, you can do a show. Tell me the stuff on board. Well, I'll get you. Why? Can you walk up the stairs, please? He walked towards us. Can we hear your footsteps? Samuel, you used to like watching the people walk into the theatre. Was it theatre? It's like people walking into the theatre, so you just watch them walking in. That's water drinks, isn't that the thing? Yeah, it is water drinks. Can you fix with the equipment so we can know you're there? Uh, Can you walk up the stairs? Yeah, the shutters, but saying that the count must be born in the shutters, it would be Yeah, I hear that. 
Do you hear that? I heard a male. Yeah. Vo- I, heard, I heard a male's voice. Yeah, I, I looked at Sean's and thinking, did I hear that, or was that my imagination? I heard, I heard a male's voice. Yeah, I heard that. Can you do that again, prison? Louder, please. Has somebody stopped it? Not mine. No, it's it's not like in the middle of the voice again. But I thought it was. No, it sounded like it's in the middle, but it's not like that, would it? No, it's it's not like another male voice again. No, it sounded like it's in the middle, but it's not like that, would it? No, it's I heard something. I don't know the male's voice will keep it outside. Yeah, there's a... Uh, right, of course, on these cameras anyway. Is that wind blowing? Do you hear that? Shall I put that out? Shall I put it out? Shall I put it out? It's not. Yeah, it's too vocal, isn't it? It's Did you hear that? Shall I wear that? I wonder how it's going Because I thought at first it was a motorbike, but it's not. Yeah, it was, it was too vocal, wasn't it? it was... That's a bike. This is um, this is Samuel. Samuel lives up there. Have you got an age on it? Yes, I'm yeah, old. Yeah, um, I'd really say late 30s, early 40s. He's uh, a stocky guy. Not quite a stocky guy. Uh, but he lived there. This, this is where he lived. Not in your mate. In this room? No. Okay. Both rooms. I believe one would have been the sitting room, the other one would have been like a bedroom area. Um, but this was his accommodation. So even when the fair was being used, this is where he lived. Mm. Um, so he was like an on-site caretaker. Right. Uh, that's why he, he was initially angry when you come in, because to him he's still doing his job. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that you've come in with all permission in a sense, he's, he's, he's pretty peeved. Um, That was good. That's gonna be outside that whistling, aren't it? No, see that whistling there. Yeah, you're whistling. No. Yeah. Heard whistling. It must have been outside because he had a look as well. Got any people walking outside there?
But with Samuel, I'm getting is he, he, even he was paid, he was paid to his job, but he would have done it anyway. Yeah. He would have done it for a chance because he loved the place and the fact he lived there. Um, so he, he was just that much in love with the place and he, he, he was just that old all the time and the fact that he could work where he lived. Mm. Um, Did he, has he, has he said how long, how long he worked here? He's going, I'm trying to work out what he's saying. He's saying something, but he's muttering what he's saying. He's showing me a chair. He's sat in the chair and he passes in the chair. In this area. Up here? Up here. He passes in the chair. Um, but he's showing me something else as well. He's not said what I've just said before about the... the, the the people walking past the military ward and that's all. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, he's something behind me. He's showing me a military uniform, he's showing me to his driver, he's showing me a ball. Right, yeah. So I believe that Samuel wanted to be in the train. He left and has come here and he's taken to this job. Yeah. Um, so he's quite a guy when he passed, then he passed in his 30s. I said, I'm at 40s. Yeah. He passed. Um, some sort of chest. Uh, I don't think I don't think he expected it. Mm -hmm. Go behind you that on that door for you. I just saw something in front of me, it went past my eyes. That's why I look funny, so it's gone round me, hasn't it? What do you mean by something up past? I mean you same truth mate, I was looking up as looked down just as I seen it in a blank dark, I'm not sure. Yeah. But I saw something look back go to my left, went past my face and around me. So it's probably the same thing. This is the point when the cameraman sees some kind of light anomaly go between Andrew and David. The footage has been slowed down. Here is the same footage again, zoomed in and slowed down. Music, I think. The music. Is that music? Sounds like someone banging the ball, is that this? That's a different banging now, so I heard before. Here's the noise again. We've enhanced the audio the best that we can. Is that music? Sounds like someone banging the ball, is that this? That's a different banging now to what I heard before. This Samuel's not nasty at all, not nasty at all. But rumour got round that he was groping mm -hmm. women. When he, was, when he was alive, a rumour went round that he was groping, right. um, and he wasn't. It, it was absolutely, it was made up by someone, and it, it just went round that he was groping female staff, female right. members of the public. He didn't do that at all. Uh, he's like, I won't do that, why would I do that? Um, and I think that, with that on top, I think that caused the stress and that caused, eventually, the, 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 right. the chest yeah. issue. Yeah taking his life. Yeah. So it was all stress, it was all snowballing. What was that? God, what was that? That was, that was, that was somebody talking. Yeah. Yeah, male or female? Male, male, yeah. definitely. Did you not hear it? No. So like you behind you, it's your way. It sounds like in that hallway. Here is the audio again. The sound has been enhanced as much as possible. You caught the stairs if that was you. So 
Samuel, please come into the room with us. Oh, you've got everything left of Mike's just died. He's dead, he's died of my mat. Again? Yeah, nothing on it. I, bet it's just, I was just about to say, but the mic picked up and it's no one, nothing there. Did you come that click? No, it was. That was quite loud. No, but it, it was loud. Like, I heard it dead clear, just couldn't make out yeah. where it was. Mm. Oh, this room's down there as well. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, room's down there as well. I don't know why. There's wood there. Good nails and careful, mate. Yeah. Um, it's showing me the, the, the like, face of the... Through there would have been like the sitting area. Mm. And this would have been like the bedroom area. But to me, I would have had the other way around. Yeah. This yeah. is larger. But um, he was in a chair and he was sat over on that side nearest the fire when he went. Um, That's pigeons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love that one, one, one. <laughs> what about the analysis it went on? The rumour about engrowing females, about engrowing female staff, because um, some female staff, uh, there's more than one, different times. If they're an issue, he'll let them stay up here, and he'll stay through there. Mm. You know, he, he, he wasn't doing anything, he'll sit in the chair, and he'll let them stay in here and sleep in here. Uh, if they have issues, they couldn't go home, or around some sort of domestic, domestic or something like that. And rumour got out that he was only doing it so he could grow up and, mm. and this and the And it wasn't the case at all. Um, Can you come into the room with me, please? Was he a guy that kept himself to himself then? Yeah, he was. Yeah. A uh, bit of a long one. Mike said he'd done his job absolutely fantastic. Um, it was one of them, if you want something to do it, it has to be done there and then. Yeah. It wasn't like, yeah, when they get round to they'll do it now. Mm. Um, Mike said he, he, he loved work here. He lived here, he worked here, and he was saying basically he wouldn't live for free. You know, because that was his mm. payment, the fact that he could live in the building he loved. Mm -hmm. um. He's telling me about a, a dispute, there was a dispute with this theatre and a theatre in town. There was a dispute. There was some sort of um, They're always trying to outdo each other. Yeah. If someone has a show and they'll try and get the next best act on. Uh, and that went on for quite a bit that. Like. There's a lot of creaking and cracking, isn't it? So, see up there, the plaster's falling here and there. You 
thought we had some of the from early on, but that's what it was, it was plastic all the way. This must have been the main entrance. People come in. How bad is it, guys? Ceilings everywhere. It's dark. Not too safe over there. Oh, that's a big sign. What's outside the building? Can you get to it? The old cave did. Strange how cold it is in here when it's so warm out. Uh, I think it's just like Andy said, it's because everything's so damp. Oh, 
Is he with his undine here? Yeah, he's with him now. Yeah. Yeah. But now and again, it sounds, I know you can hear drops, now it sounds like you can hear a shuffle. Yeah. I can hear them drop, you sound like somebody's shuffling as well. I knew there was a step here somewhere. Somebody step forward to these devices on, on the floor. Can you make them go off? Feels colder down here. Can somebody step forward to these devices on the floor? We come with all respect. Devices will do you no harm. Let's walk towards them and see if we can make the lights flash. Device here, the green light. 
There. There's a doll. There's another device there, and there's two down there. You can step forward to them and touch them. That's all we'll do, the, the lights will just flash. So you can come forward, please. So you can make one of the devices go off. We've got all the back of the one. Right, so you please come forward and do that again. With the team getting tired, they drew the investigation to a close. It made for an interesting night, with the Victoria Theatre giving up some of its secrets in the way of the spirit of the caretaker, Samuel, and the team hearing knocks and other audible sounds throughout the night. And most of all, not forgetting, Sean, almost falling down the stage steps. I needed a step here somewhere. So, from the Victoria Theatre, Salford, and the team, until next time paranormal friends, keep believing. <laughs>